Ogora. I am <laughs> Ogora Chelaken. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and I, uh, I think I'm very worried about those uh, a typical lang of sin words, which yes. that is kahawa. I don't dispute this. It's beautiful. But yes, uh, when I started music, I started uh, uh, the genre that I did at the time was uh, I did uh, dancehall, afro, and uh, more of zouk. When was that? I started music in in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2005, many years ago. That's great. I am actually one of the legends in the music industry. Yes, you have no stranger and you have faced a lot of ups and downs. Absolutely. And you have a quiet experience. I am no so, stranger. Uh, being a female artist, what are some of the challenges since 2005 and until now? What are some of the challenges you have encountered as a musician and as a female musician mm -hmm. like you? Well, when I studied music at that time, uh, Lango didn't embrace music very well. And I, I vividly recall that uh, we were only two female artists at the time. It was me and Engineer Jane, for those who remember Engineer Jane. Yes. And I used to go by the names of Peace Daluo. Peace Daluo. If you remember that little girl that called herself Peace Daluo. If I talk of Mark P, I'm sure most of you will remember. Yes. I featured in his video at the time. He did a video at Lira Hotel and I was a beautiful girl who <laughs> featured in the video and he made me famous. And you're still maintaining the beauty. Uh, to God be the glory, yes. yes. So um, when I started music, uh, we were two, like I said, yes. it was not easy. Because being female, being young, and then in the music industry, oh, we were referred as spoiled brats. We were given names like prostitutes. We were given very bad, bad names <clears throat> to a point where engineer Jane had to step aside because her family couldn't take it. I actually tried telling her, you know, these, these are words that people would say. It doesn't have to demoralize you yeah. from being who you are. You know who you are, you know what you want. Continue. She's like, no. My family, these, my, I'm like, okay. Fine. So she stepped aside. And after some time, she relocated to Gulu. Yes. So me, I continued. I persisted. Yeah. I can't lab. I persisted, I continued singing, you called me names, I used them as, as stepping stones, you gave me another one, I stepped on it, and Sometimes you know. Sometimes you use it to compose another song. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So, uh, uh, after some time, for those who remember the Pearl Music Awards, yes. we brought the Pearl Music Awards to Northern Uganda. There was Lumix. Uh, there was Bosmiko team. Uh, at that time, Rosalino team was still around in Uganda and very active in Daicholi music. Uh, we had uh, many, many other artists. We had DJ Languna, who is currently a pastor and is doing so well. And uh, yeah, we, we, we brought the, the, um, the PAL Music Awards to Northern Uganda. We went as far as Arua. When was that? Yeah. That was around 2006 yes. onward until it was no more. Yes. But we were able to tour Uganda during the Pearl Music Awards. It was actually very beautiful and big. And I remember when Ara Kelly visited Uganda, I was one of the northern artists. If I recall vividly well, I was among the female artists who sang on Ara Kelly's stage. I sang and I'm very proud of it and I was like okay I'm glad I didn't listen to people I didn't listen to you know all this I could have never shared the stage with Ara Kelly after that uh, as time went on of course I, I traveled out of the country uh, marriage came in having kids came in and I had to take a break from the music industry but when I came back to Uganda in 2018 I remember November 2018 is when I came back to Uganda officially. I would of course come and visit and go back. But this time I came back and when I came back I decided no, I'm not going to let my career or talent die. 
I'm going to resurrect it. So those who heard that I, I am back to the country started saying, oh, the queen is back. The queen is back. So that is how queen came to birth. I was about to ask question, <laughs> uh, from Peace Daluo to... Uh, to, to queen Akira, yes. yes. So from Peace Daluo, I even uh, my first song was Milele. For those who, who have watched that song on TV, it plays on NBS, Pack TV, NTV, uh, Star TV, and any other TV yeah. in, in, in the center, in the central of Uganda. I started with Milele when I came back. That was the first song I did as a comeback. Yeah. And they're like, oh, Queen is back. I did the song at uh, Bomba Beats. Yes. Bomba made my beats. He recorded the song. At the time, he was working with Ru uh, Route Entertainment. So the director of Route Entertainment is a songwriter also, and a director. So he wrote the song for me, Milele. And then we sat down, we, we agreed, you're like, okay, are you, you going to go by the old name, Peace Daluo? Or are you going to do? Because uh, now people are referring to you as Queen. You are queen. Are you going to do queen peace or are you going to look for another name that defines who you are? And then I remembered I'm in love with Akira. The name Akira, it has a beautiful meaning. It, it totally and 100% defines my personality. So I'm like, I am Akira. I am that strong, brave warrior. That is what the name Akira means. So I, just, I, am, so I told Yese, Yese Oman Rafiki, who's the director of Route Entertainment, I told him, I am Akira. So it's like, you are Queen Akira. So that's how the name Queen Akira came to birth. Since 2005 and until now, you are no stranger in this industry. I am no stranger yeah. at all. I believe you have, like, what advice would you give to someone outside there aspiring to join music? As a First company? of all, let's talk about the challenges. Yes. It's not been easy, like I, I hinted earlier on. Yes. <clears throat> the name calling, the name given, and the ones that they still call you up to date or call me up to date. Exactly. Yeah. But I thank God that right now, as Lango, we have a different pers uh, perspective when it comes to uh, music. They have embraced music, they have accepted music, and gotten to know that actually music is a talent given by God. It's a talent that someone is born with. Of course, some go to school and study it. It's a profession. So they have accepted it and that gives me more hope that those coming after us will do better than we are or we did or will do more than we did. However, in this industry, being female, it is very challenging. There's a lot of temptations that come on the way eventually. Being female, you'll, you'll encounter challenges. For example, a man will come to you and tell you, let me sponsor you. But it will give you conditions of this sponsorship. I met a man many years ago in Kampala. And he told me, I'm going to be your manager. I'll give you absolutely everything. I'll make you known everywhere. On condition that you <coughs> come from my home. You, you go for shows. From, from the show, you come back to my home. You stay in my home. <laughs> okay. The staying at home, what was he meaning? So uh, basically, I would be like a wife yes. or, you know, like a girlfriend. So I told them, you know what? I am not ready for that. I don't need to be managed and I don't need a manager right now. If it will take me many years down the road, so be it. It's like, oh, never met a stupid girl like you. I'm like, that's fine. I accept. I'm stupid. I decline your offer. He also left but with so many words, I'm like, oh, good readers to bad rubbish. I, I stayed. And then I also encountered other, other offers. Some of you right now could be saying the same thing as that person, that you were stupid and all that. You could be all over the world and all that. Yeah. But you see, despite the name calling and all that, I still had my dignity as a woman intact. Yes. I loved myself. Yes, I'm beautiful and all that. I didn't need to use my beauty to acquire those things. One, I am hardworking. I know how to get money in a good, clean way. So no thanks. So as a lady, it has never been easy. 
it's maybe i would be like those other female artists that you see but you see i'm also grateful to god for where i am right now one step at a time i'm still alive god is with me i will get there you said you are married and how do you always balance this with music and so yes, uh, most people believe that female artists don't get married. Yes. That is a very wrong perspective also, which you all need to remove from your head. We female artists do get married. We actually know how to love. Mm? We sing you these songs, remember? <laughs> Some of these songs are sung out of experience. Yes. <laughs> it could be a bitter experience or a really lovey-dovey experience. But it is all out of experience. Yes, we know how to love and we are marriage material also. But sometimes they are alleged of not having feelings. <laughs> that is not true. It is only one person who declared that. It doesn't speak for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. So yes, uh, I got married along the way. I had children, very beautiful, handsome young men. Wow. My soldiers. I have them and I'm so proud of them. Yes, and uh, you know when you are an artist and you're female, though you're male or female, in most cases we consider, we look at a few things in a man or woman that would, we would want to settle with. One, we don't need someone who is uh, not understanding. You need to know that I am a musician, I am a female artist. The things of you've married me already and you're like, you need to stop singing. Who, who does that? No, 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 no. You found me singing. Let me continue. In fact, support me and push me to even climb a higher ladder. Yeah. That is support. That is what a spouse is supposed to do. Even you, a woman, if your husband or fiancé or boyfriend is a musician, know that you're not going to at any moment stop him from singing. No. That is how you met him. The money you enjoy comes from that stage, from singing. It is a career. It is a job. It is one's profession. Which means all these calls on trust. Which means we need to have trust. We need to have communication. Sacrifice. Yeah. When I talk of sacrifice, I'm not going to show you that I'm sacrificing a lot in the relationship by letting go where my money comes from. There is no sacrifice. But yes, we will uh, compromise. Yes, it is compromise. Yeah. Understanding, trust, and you know, that's when you have that your relationship will soar. I am not saying it's a bed of roses, it is not. Okay, basically, as we look for a way to conclude, uh, being a woman, have you ever used your platform uh, to advocate for gender equality? Uh, me as Queen Akira, I have a CBO yes. called Hold Down Africa. Yes. And our areas of activities are child abuse, teenage child mothers. Uh, domestic workers and uh, 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 SGBV. So I'm actually very passionate about children, regardless of sex. Yeah. I am very, very passionate o about children. I love children. And uh, yes, we, we, I advocate for uh, a safer environment for a girl child. Yeah. And that I do. It is our work. That is what I do. And I have been advocating for a girl child for uh, all this time. I am also, besides music and all that, I am also a community paralegal. I am a trained paralegal. So I always fight for the rights of uh, anyone, I would say, because it, it, it's human rights. We don't, I, I don't, I'm not biased <laughs> like other organizations. I fight for human rights. It can be a man or woman, you approach me, you come to my office, we will take on your case. That's great because of recent there has been a debate, people are always talking about girl child, girl mm -hmm. child, mm -hmm. letting the boy child. Mm -hmm. That's why most boys are disturbing people and at the end of shaping this girl child, they end up getting married to this boy child even neglected. Absolutely. Yes. The boy child has been neglected and that is why me and my co-founder, May her soul continue resting in perfect peace. If you all remember Lichinia, who was murdered in Nereda. Yes, she is the, the co-founder of uh, Hold Hand Africa. We advocated for the boy child also. Because we, we looked deep into it and, uh, and uh, decided the boy child is being neglected. 
for quite too many times. Why can't we step up and fill in the gap and also speak for the boy child? So from that moment on, even on her uh, demise, I still invite the boy child. They are dying in silence. Don't remain silent, dear boy child. There is someone called Queen Akira out here who is willing to speak for you and fight for you. All right, thank you, Queen. Uh, before you go, um, I also want the world to know that Besides uh, the paralegal thing, besides uh, the music thing, yeah. I also do business. I'm a businesswoman. That's correct. Uh, I, I've put my hands on two different things that can generate money. Because there should be something to support you. Absolutely. Yes. I run a bridal shop. We do traditional marriages and we do white weddings. We have all those attires. In so regards to the bridal shop, it is located in Tesoba. Uh, the former Techwa, Nyoakobo Akbahakobile Blanc, Techwa Chon. Just here at Tesoba, you'll find um, Akira fashion line yes. there. But also, other than that, I am a very talented woman, by the way. Yes. I, I am also an actress. I, I, I act. I am into movies. And as I speak, I am the regional coordinator for Lango Sub region, Palwood, Uganda. Uh, talking about the movie, uh, how many movies have you, you participated in? Uh, we did The Ring yeah. with Ayen Steve. You all know Ayen Steve. Is that actually the one who did my music video, Milele? Yeah. He is awesome. He's such a great man. Yeah. Uh, and then I did uh, Where We Belong by Mara Mindagire. You all know Maraminda Gere. For those who, are, who follow the Ugandan movie industry, you will know the movie called Where We Belong. Those days I was still a little girl. I was also fortunate enough to do a couple of movies in Tanzania when I was still living in Tanzania. Wow. And uh, I also did a movie with Zipora. For those who might not know Zipora, she's a Kenyan director based in Nairobi. Very good uh, movie director. We did a movie called Zebu and the Photo Fish. Beautiful short film. And I was also a member of the film lab. I have a great profile. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. those who didn't know, now you know. Where can we access all these facts you have been talking about? Uh, Where can we get them? Uh, there, there's that song of mine that people really loved. Yeah. Um, that song, Unity, still plays it. Yeah. Th that is one of the, my oldest songs that I did those days uh, of Peace Dalu. Of peace, yes. If you all remember where I only coach during the coin, uh, the rebel activity, I, saw, I sang the song called Coach, Coach Dong Pei. Uh, that song played in the UK. I actually got an invite to, uh, because of that song to, to go to the UK. At that time it was a big song and I, I touched different politicians and all that. Uh, but all those other songs, somehow I lost them. But uh, I've visited different radio stations and some of them have them. However, I, I now do, I no longer do cyclone music. Yes. I am a very proud born again Christian. I love Jesus Christ to the bone. My entire blood in the veins, it flows Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I love Jesus like that. So I am now a gospel artist, but I still do inspirational songs. You know, love is still gospel. Yes. Today, if you, you're watching me right now, today if you phone me in studio singing a love song, don't judge me and start saying, I don't care where love Love is still gospel. Gospel is about comforting someone. Absolutely. Yeah. If I can sing a beautiful love song that can bring you goosebumps, then really I'm doing a great job for you. I'm healing your soul. But yes, I now do gospel music. I worship Christ Jesus and I, I am a minister of God in the music industry. Where can we get all these songs? So, so you can find, you yeah, yes. yes. You can find my songs. You can go to uh, Spotify. You can go to YouTube, uh, Queen Akira Music. Uh, 
actually everyone of my ando social media ando is queen akira instagram is the queen of the north okay thank you very much it has been nice mm -hmm. having you maybe if you have any other message you will have to send out uh, females that are coming up and even to the young male that are coming up in the industry right now right now the music uh the music industry is very competitive competitive uh there's a lot of challenges compared to our time then right now every, it's like a competition someone wants to come and sing because somebody else is singing even when you cannot sing by the way this is something that is it's a talent that which you don't have you cannot force it on the faces of the people so my advice is if you want to sing or join the music industry you are very welcomed i am ready to mentor you i am ready to show you one or two things that you might not know i don't know everything i'm also open to learning but the little experience that i have in this industry i am willing to share with you take one step at a time when you go to studio don't rush it a song can take even three months in the studio for as long as what is coming out is good products these days registrations are changing they say they're not gonna play quara quara music they're gonna play quality music and that includes the the products which is the beat the vocal and the storytelling or the storylines and also be patient in this life when you rush your crush people the, hiv is real uh drug abuse is real uh having uh, multiple relationships this is also real take it slow one step at a time just because you did one song and it's hitting it, it doesn't mean you are now a